Welcome to part two of my Black and Rovers career and we are into game three of the season and it's against Leighton Orient so let's get into the game but first as always if you like the video give it a like and subscribe and don't forget to comment below we're still in the transfer window and I'd love to hear what you think what can we do with this team how can we improve it let's go though let's go Charlie Mulgrew to start the attack off again. Played out wide. Down the line. Niambi's got it. Can he whip it in? He has. Yes, and Juliet. I don't know how to say his name, but we are 1-0 up. After eight minutes, great run from Niambi. Great ball. And he just finishes it off nicely with his head. Great signing. Nice early goal in the season. Could give us a lot more. Again, in and around the action. Bennett running inside. Whips it back out to Williams. Williams, can he play that ball through to Nadjale? Nadjale cuts inside. Can he finish it from the edge of the box? Nadjale! 2 0! But absolutely fantastic play there from Nadjale. Two goals. Absolutely fantastic 4-4 this game. Look at this. Cuts inside. And he just had that feeling that once he got that shot off, it was going to end up in the back of the net. And it did. Great finish from Nigel. And that's two. He's not going to lose that ball. Evans, what can he do with it? He's, uh, he's been pretty key in the middle of that field. And that was a great ball forward. What can Bennett do with it now? There isn't really many options in there. There's people coming in late, actually. Oh, so close for first half hat trick, and that was great teamwork there. Great ball out wide to Bennett from Evans, and Evan uh, Bennett just charging down that side to try and whip across in. Good time. Nigel taking the throw in for some unknown reason. Can he get this ball in? He can. Can someone finish it? Oh my God! How's Connor missed it? How was Mahoney missed it? I thought for sure then when. Nigel managed to get that ball in and it fell to someone that we would put that away, but he's just hit it wide. And putting a good shift in today, he really is. Williams has got to chase this ball back now. I think he's got it, but that's a dangerous ball into the box. And Blackman certainly seemed to make a meal of it. I don't think it was that Intercepted well. desperate to make a save like that, but... Leighton Orient are fighting back, and that's another save from Blackman. Where's it across? Rovers, no real rush now. Minutes left, and that is it. The final whistle goes, and it's a very, very convincing 2 0 win. You can't ask for much more than that. Two goals from Nadjale, and uh, a great team performance. Second half was a bit quiet, but we did the work in the first. It allowed us to relax in the second half and just uh, take the three points. So let's move on now. So here we are, another signing. Nothing special, but my worry is we're going to end up short on players come the international break. So this is a necessary. So here we are, another game of the EFL Cup. This time it's against Notts County. We made a few changes, we brought some of the younger players in, uh, Robertson's a new player, so we'll see how he does. Feeney's in, we may have to keep him, I didn't want to sell him, but I'm still worried about uh, running out of players during the international break, so let's see what we can do. And a 2-1 win, Bennett and Banton, two wingers get the goals, and uh, we're through again. Not Not doing too bad, not too bad at all. So here we are, next game on this list is Northampton at home, hoping to carry on from that perfect game away to Leighton Orient. Evans, nice little chip to Tomlinson, can he smack it from the edge of the box? And it was never really going in, didn't have a whole lot of pace behind it, but 
You gotta go. Pressure is coming from Northampton. And a uh, mid table team. Not really one that should be troubling us too much. And Blackman has had to make a save from that. He is uh, certainly doesn't fill me with uh, a lot of confidence, Blackman. He, he tends to do that quite a lot where he just parries it away and it uh, worries me. And now he's falling on the floor. What on earth is going on? He's on the floor and can we get it away? And he's had to make another save, but that's fine. Nice and easy. Into the attacking third. Oh, and we were just stood still for a second there. I wasn't, it took me by surprise. I didn't really know what to do myself. To the tackle. Well, this attack got a bit of menace. Nigelay. Bennett running it to the line. Trying to whip it in with speed. Mahoney and he's missed it. I do not believe it. How on earth has he missed that? turns and just he had no idea where the goal was and he's just sort of like flung his foot at it just uh must admit and again another shot and i'm just uh left silent just, him. just making a run inside can he play that ball now Niambi. oh just there wasn't anything behind that. There was no venom, no. Coming for it. Oh, just trying to get that ball off, and Williams takes it back. There we go. Bennett plays the ball in, but it's not got there. Williams! Oh! Oh, no, and Evans has lost it, and that's probably going to be it. That was, uh, was going to be the chance, but surely now, game over. Disappointing nil-nil draw. We were very, very disappointing today. I don't know where that killer instinct had gone from the first half of Leighton Orient. We, there was just nothing there. And unfortunately, we're uh, going away with a point. We can't let that happen too many times this season. But if we were, if you had to pick a positive, it's another clean sheet. Uh, they did have a few chances, but we'll move on to the next game and hopefully pick another three points up. So.